have two top 10 picks as well. Ryan at number five, you have them selecting Mississippi State offensive tackle Charles Cross. Uh, last week, you did have them taking Neil. You said that would be the best case scenario for them, but uh, Cross is not a bad runner up. Not a bad runner up at all. He had a fantastic season in Mississippi State. Here's the, the math you sort of have to do. Mike Leach, air raid, not a lot of running going on. And it takes you back to those Washington State days and Andre Dillard, who was the first round pick of the Eagles. And he has struggled, to put it frankly, uh, in the NFL. His, his, his pass blocking has been fine. His run blocking hasn't quite come along. But the good news with Charles Cross is he's incredibly athletic. He's pretty big for a left tackle uh, who does more than just, just pass block. He can get after as a run blocker as well. And he did that before Mike Mike Leach arrived, so you have to feel good about that if you're if you're drafting top five or top six. Uh, I think he's right there in the mix with these other two offensive linemen we're talking about. He's he's one C, if you will, and he's been solid as a pass protector, but he's actually been better as a run blocker at times, and that has to be encouraging for Daniel Jones uh, and the rest of that new regime in New York. And if you're keeping Daniel Jones around, you might as well protect him. And Charles Cross feels like a pretty easy pick here if Evan Neal and, and Nikki Kwanu are already off the board. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.